Tonight, Worcester marked the 23rd anniversary of one of the darkest days in that city's history, the inferno at the cold storage warehouse where six firefighters perished. These men entered upon the grounds of this now sacred space. On the very spot where the infamous cold storage warehouse once stood, folks ignored a wet night to pay their respects to six brave men as a half dozen sets of gear got a firefighter's salute. As bagpipers walked past, the fire trucks pulled out of the station ever so slightly in tribute to the Worcester Six. A fire station sits here now, but in 1999 it was an abandoned meat warehouse with the walls of a fortress and the interior layout of a maze. That's when a homeless couple squatting in the aging building knocked over a candle and started a blaze that drew 75 firefighters. Thinking that couple might still be inside, even though they weren't, two firefighters hunting them got lost lost and trapped, and then two more, and then another two, before commanders pulled everyone out. Six died, their heroism unquestioned. But the tragedy triggered change, both in how such rescue efforts are handled and how such vacant buildings can be made safer as they sit idle. With the hope that kids too young to remember or understand the tragedy won't see anything similar in their lifetime. Involuntary manslaughter charges against the homeless couple were eventually dismissed. The building's owner was never charged, but was sued by the families of those firefighters and settled out of court.